So this Photoshop tutorial is only a sample video showing you bits and pieces of the entire tutorial that you can locate on masterflash.net uh, where you can find source files and the entire tutorial. So what we're going to do is we're going to let this roll out for a little bit. All right, so to start this off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, create another layer, or actually two more layers. I'm going to have uh, everything on top of that except for the background. And I'm going to grab this first layer right here, get my tools panel. I'm going to select my ellipse tool and I'm gonna go ahead and select this fill color in here I'm just gonna make this a funky looking purple should be good should okay and I'm really just gonna draw an oval across the uh, back over here about like that we'll be able to reposition these a little bit later and um, we need to go ahead and grab this second open layer in here and I'm gonna hit X to bring my white up front all right my oval tool again and I'm going to draw a smaller oval inside of here basically spread across this and so I can kind of size this up I'm going to uh, position this a little bit better using control T bring this out a little bit more all right and the next thing that we need to do is go ahead and put a blur onto these all right that way we can create some sort of backlighting so with this layer selected right here I've got the purple if I come up to filter Blur, Gaussian blur, hit OK. All right, needs to be rasterized, good. And obviously, this would be something that uh, you'll have to kind of tune to your liking. But what I would do is I'm just going to try to mess around with this, get it up to 70. Actually, it looks pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And I'm going to grab the uh, white layer up here, do the same thing. I'm just going to come up here to filter gonna apply another blur to this but we're gonna lessen the effect a little bit by putting it back down to maybe 50 or somewhere in that range Let's see how that looks doesn't look too bad yeah it looks good okay bring this back in here I'm just gonna go ahead and hit OK with that and one thing that you could do if you don't like how the white kind of took over and you want to expand the purple a little bit remember you can always just duplicate this layer by hitting control J all right, kind of brightens it up a little bit. Might help with the uh, reflection, or you know, if you're going to drop some uh, drop shadows on your objects or anything like that, it might help with that. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and leave. Yeah, I'm going to leave that in there. Actually, doesn't look too bad. And uh, actually, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the opacity down on this a little bit. Yeah, it looks good. All right, so. I'm going to just go ahead and start with the camera over here. I'm going to bring it up top. And the way that we can create somewhat of the uh, reflective area is by duplicating this and tinning it and then applying a mask to it to uh, actually make it look like it's going to disappear into the file. Uh, so what I'm going to do is with the camera selected, I'm just going to hit Control J twice to duplicate layers. And on this top one, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and grab the fill color down here, make this black. All right, just by selecting that, it'll automatically make it black. And with this selected, if I hit uh, Shift Alt Backspace, it's going to go ahead and directly apply the tint. And what I want to do once I have that is go ahead and set the opacity at something that you know allow the image to be seen or the object to be seen. All right, on top of uh, the this layer here. Okay, so with this full layer underneath of it, go ahead and Alt and select that. Just going to right click on this, merge layers. All right kind of bring them together and uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to drag this layer underneath of the other camera layer all right and with this selected right here our merged layers I'm just going to hit and really all I would do to add on to this would be to I don't know throw some text in here basically create an advertisement for that is the end of this sample Photoshop tutorial to view the entire tutorial and get your hands on source files head towards masterflash.net hope you enjoy it